Bronfen Brenner said, in order to develop normally, a child requires progressively more complex joint activities with one or more adults who have an irrational emotional relationship with the child. Somebody's got to be crazy about that kid. That's number one. First, last, and always. He was born April 26, 1917 and died September 25, 2005. Bronfen Brenner's ideas and ability to translate them created in 1965 a program called Head Start, the federal child development program for low-income children and their family. Russian-born American psychologist best known for having developed human ecology theory in which individuals are seen as maturing not in isolation but within the context of relationships, such as those involving families, friends, schools, neighborhoods, and society. His theory is based on a child and the environment they interact with and how that will influence how the child grows and develops. Here are the five stages of his theory. The first most important aspect of this theory is the child itself. Then we have the microsystem, the part of the system closest to the person and the one in which they have direct contact, like school or family or church. Then we have the mesosystem, which is just the interactions between different aspects of the microsystem, such as the relationship between parents and teacher. Then we have the exosystem, the setting that does not directly involve the kid. They're not an active participant, but they're still affected by it, such as a parent losing their job or getting promoted. Then we have the macro system, which is just the social and cultural values, and the chrono system, which is just the time. So both of these just sort of explain the overall larger setting. And so all aspects of the system affect the child and their behavior. That's all. The first stage is microsystem. The system closest to the person. Examples are home, school, and family. Next is the mesosystem. It's the interactions and relations in the microsystem. The third is exosystem, and it refers to the setting that involves the person, but the person has no say. Examples, moving. The fourth system is the macrosystem. It's the values and norms of the child's culture. Example, community values, religious values, and family beliefs. The last and final stage of his theory is chronosystem, the transitions and shifts in one's lifespan. Examples would be different generations and time periods one lives in. The primary danger of the television screen lies not so much in the behavior it produces as the behavior it prevents. The talks, the games, the family activities, and the arguments through which much of the child's learning takes place and his character is formed. A common limitation of his theory is the environment had to be very specific and wasn't readily available to study. Applications can be knowing the different layers that affect individuals. That way you're better able to prepare yourself and them and understand them better.